of you know me as Tracy, but now I prefer to be called Ching Wei because Ching Wei is given by my parents. Ching which means quiet. Wei means intelligent. They want me to grow up like that, but I don't know if I fulfill their expectation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I might need to borrow the head from Mary because <laughs> I used to be the pianist once in, uh, once in a while I would play the piano or you know, I call myself a, as a math crazy person. I love math. I'm a teacher too. I also teach piano lesson. But today I'm the artist. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so today I like to talk about my art show and then um, I want to start with something um, I just my new hobby. Okay, I started my uh, this kind of drawing, and I did a few ladies of you, and then uh, some say, "Oh, that's not me," <laughs> and then see if you can recognize this lady or not. She say, "That's not me." <laughs> Is Barb. <laughs> I just started a uh, caricature uh, two months ago. So, you know, for me, maybe not the best, but, you know, I try to do my, my best. And this is you. And uh, I, sorry, I forgot your name. Ganette. Yeah. See? So as to the uh, character, you just need to capture their uh, special feature on their face, and you need to make it fun. Supposed not to be too alike, you know, but you need to catch that so people can laugh. That's the purpose of caricature, okay? And this is my new friend, Jen. <laughs> You're welcome. And then this lady, you guys probably can recognize her. You know who is? Who she is? Cora. Yeah, but she's not here today. You know, but I will uh, contact her. And then another lady always come with her. I don't know her name either, so. Carolyn, I think. Karen, okay. Yeah, they're my models, okay. <laughs> However, you probably recognize this gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, who is this gen? It looks like Dr. Fauci. Yes, yes. Yeah. For somebody so famous like this, I need to try to get as close as I can. So I really, uh, enjoying doing the character and not just for a woman this is myself with uh, uh, my kitty okay so I also oh. did some puppies because I love animals so I did some uh, oh, dog. That. and then uh, I have two friends they uh, oh. at, at my table <laughs> so this is uh, <laughs> Can you guys recognize you? <laughs> okay, Greg, Grisha, and Jennifer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks just like Okay, so that's just a new hobby of my a new art, uh, but I have done a lot of uh, other kind of painting, and I've been doing a lot of Dahlia painting. I want to uh, give you a little bit of uh, testimony of why I started painting, because when my second child was born, I hit into very deep depression. So I started to paint. And then God just told me, you know, you can do it. And then he is my art instructor. He is only my art instructor. I didn't really take any lesson. And I have uh, doing this over like uh, 14 years. So it's getting better and better. And then in the old time, I will do, you know, like uh, oil painting. This scenery is, can you help me? This is a scenery, it's a famous scenery. I was made in Taiwan, by the way. <laughs> My parents, I mean, I'm from Taiwan. I have some friends, two new friends, they are from Taiwan too. And this is a scenery, I have to ask one of them. Eileen, can you recognize this scenery? Do you know what the uh, famous uh, tourist spot? Yeah. Ali, Ali Mountain. Okay, they used to have a train and uh, some uh, people are picking a, a green tea farm. There's some walkers and you will see the, the palm tree and then there's a train passing by. I do have a reference. Ah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> so this one is oil painting on big canvas. I did a lot of big canvas and I also sold art. But today I'm not going to talk about you know the, the, the selling part because I just want to show my art. So I do have a reference photo of the Army Mountain. You guys can come closer. I don't know if I did you know a good job or not, but I as an artist I like to just express my feeling on the painting. So I also teach some art classes. People will call me and have an art party or I go to some restaurant. They, the lady, they like to do sip and pen, something like that. <laughs> and then, you know, I was in that kind of uh, events several times. So I, I teach art. I don't know, God gave me another talent. is just very natural to present and I can make my students feel really good. So. Don't underestimate yourself. You can be a good artist, and I will make you feel really good about your art if you come to my art class. I'm just, um, I don't know. I cannot say I'm a very good teacher, but I think God gave me that special talent in me, just know how to say or express my uh, encouragement to others. Okay, so, yeah. Sometimes when the feeling comes, it's hard to answer your question. <laughs> I, I don't know actually. But with a painting like that, sometimes it takes days. And then I don't do oil painting very much right now because it takes a while to have it dry. And then the oil painting actually smell a little bit not that present. So watercolor, you know, I know Alaire. She is a good uh, watercolor artist. I love watercolor. And then now I just did a lot of uh, aquatic. And the mix is called a mixed art. Okay, this one I have a special friend commissioned me to do this one. So, Sylvia Captain, this is your painting. <laughs> she she asked me, uh, Ching Hui, can you do a flower garden for me? And then doesn't need to be too big, but I just love the flower because Elsie has one of my painting, where's Elsie? Yeah. And then uh, people go to the planning painting will kind of just envy her or yeah. say, who did that painting? Can you ask the artist or somebody, you know? So yeah, she yeah, just- you remember when you came to my house, you asked if you could have it back, and I said no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Lately, I just really appreciate uh, Gloria Lee and Wen, you know, they just say, uh, Ching Wei, you can come to pick flowers all the time. So, Dalias is one of my big inspirations. So, I paint a lot of Dalias on a small canvas. This is not a box, it's a canvas. Okay, so people like this because they can just, you know, give as gift and then you can sit on the table or you can hand it up. You can hand the diagonal way this way. So, it's just really pretty. So, being an artist, I feel like God really touched me is because when I see beautiful flower, <laughs> sometimes I feel like God encourages us to see the beauty of his creation. It doesn't need to be in a certain form because just by looking at the flower studies, they could, you know, in different kind of shapes or colors. So sometimes I have the idea just pick up, oh, I'm going to do one uh, green flower. So I decide my color. So as to my art teaching, I like to expose that idea to my students. So that's why they don't feel pressure. They feel like doing art is um, a joy. And I want to say that because nobody can create the same art you create. Is that right? Yeah, so everybody is their master master of their own artwork. So that's why I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I do have a few. Oh, this one is my favorite too. Dark blue. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But most are the four color like uh, like yellow or orangish. And then uh, I think several years ago, I started another medium. It's called the Alcohol Ink. Yeah, I have a group of uh, ladies sign up to alcohol ink art. I say, well, just don't drink that alcohol. <laughs> yeah, you can order different kind of alcohol, but don't drink that alcohol ink. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, yes. So alcohol ink. The way I like alcohol ink is because the flexibility, because I'm a person I like to go free. I don't like to be limited. So I think a person, you know, a creative person, being a creative person, I just feel like 
I just want to express my feeling.